In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, to prepare ourselves for this Eucharistic celebration, let us acknowledge that we are all sinners in need of God's mercy. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to the Father and to one another. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Keep your family safe, O Lord, with unfailing care, that relying solely on the hope of heavenly grace, they may be defended always by your protection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book, from the first book of Kings. Jeroboam left Jerusalem and the prophet Ahijah the Shilonite met him on the road. The two were alone in the area, and the prophet was wearing a new cloak. Ahijah took off his new cloak, tore it into twelve pieces, and said to Jeroboam, Take ten pieces for yourself. The Lord the God of Israel says, I will tear away the kingdom from Solomon's grubs and will give you ten of the tribes. One tribe shall remain to him for the sake of David my servant and of Jerusalem, the city I have chosen out of the twelve tribes of Israel. Israel went into rebellion against David's house to this day. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I am the Lord, your God. Hear my voice. I am the Lord, your God. Hear my voice. There shall be no strange God among you nor shall you worship any alien god. I, the Lord, I am your God, who led you forth from the land of Egypt. I am the Lord, your God. Hear my voice. My people heard not my voice, and Israel obeyed me not. So I give them up to the hardest of their hearts. They walked according to their own counsels. I am the Lord your God. Hear my voice. If only my people would hear me and Israel walk in my ways, quickly would I humble their enemies against their foes. I will turn my hand. I am the Lord your God. Hear my voice. Please all stand. Lord be with you and with your spirit. 
A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus left the district of Tyre and went by way of Sidon to the Sea of Galilee into the district of the Decapolis. And people brought to him a deaf man who had a speech impediment and begged him to lay his hand on him. He took him off by himself away from the crowd. He put his finger into the man's ears and, spitting, touched his tongue. Then he looked up to heaven and groaned and said to him, Ephata, meaning, be opened. And immediately the man's ears were opened, his speech impediment was removed, and he spoke plainly. He ordered them not to tell anyone. But the more he ordered them not to, the more they proclaimed it. They were exceedingly astonished, and they said, He has done all things well. He makes the deaf hear and the mute speak. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. When the Lord is confronted with misery, just like what we heard in the gospel, a man who is deaf and mute, what was his initial reaction? Or what was the things that he, he did, the gest gestures? Well, According to the gospel, he looked up to heaven and groaned. Tumingala siya sa langit at napabuntong hininga. Tumingala sa langit. Kailan tayo tumitingala sa langit? At anong ibig sabihin kapag tayo tumitingala sa langit? Tayo'y nagdarasal. Tayo'y nagdarasal. Sa harap ng isang pangangailangan, si Jesus ay tumawag sa Diyos. Si Jesus ay nagdasal. My dear brothers and sisters, when we are confronted with similar miseries, we pray. And when people request us to pray for them, we should. Because prayer can do wonders. Meron kasi mga ibang taong hindi na naniniwala sa panalangin. Siguro, hindi maganda ang karanasan. Nagdadasal pero hindi na pagbibigyan. Pero, may bisa ang panalangin. Kaya lang, kumisan, ang tugon ng Diyos ay sa paraang hindi natin inaasahan. But always, God answers our prayers. Always, God listens to our prayers. And so, let us pray. We pray not only for our own needs, we pray especially for the needs of others. Yun ang ginawa ni Jesus. Siya'y tumingala sa langit. Ang ikalawang ginawa niya ay napabuntong hininga siya. Yung sinasabi ng mga scholar na yung Greek, Greek word na ginamit ay parang yung kanyang naramdaman ay bumaligtad ang kanyang sikmura. Kailan ba bumabaligtad ang sikmura natin? Yung hindi natin matagalan yung ating nakikita. Hindi ba? Bumaligtad ang sikmura ko. Hindi ko, hindi ko matiis yung, na, yung amoy. No? Hindi ko matiis yung aking nakita. Saan nagmula yun? Yung buntong hininga ni Jesus sa kanyang nakita. Naawa siya 
sa taong pipi at bingi. Compassion. I hope we do not lose that compassion. Because sometimes we can be we can become insensitive already no to to the misery around us y- y- yung bang uh, kayo siguro kahit natatanda niyo yung Smoky Mountain ano okay so baka yung iba sa inyo madalas dumadaan doon imagine kapag do- noong meron pang Smoky Mountain yung dumadaan no eh nagtatakip ng ng ilong sapagkat hindi natin matiis yung amoy. Imagine kung yung, yung taong nakatira doon, no? doon nakatira, doon kumukuha ng hanap buhay, eh mas lalo, eh pero baka nasanay na rin ang kanilang ilong sa amoy. There is always that danger to, to be desensitized. No, to be desensitized, yung nasanay na sa amoy, nasanay na sa misery, nasanay na sa mga kahirapan, kaya wala na tayong nararamdaman. We have lost our compassion. Jesus was compassionate to the man. So ipinagdasal niya, nagdasal siya, at siya'y nahabag. Pero hindi doon natapos pinagaling niya yung pipi at bingi na tao. There's also the danger for us to, to limit our work with prayer and compassion. Ay, nakakaawa naman. Yan, naawa tayo. Nakita natin, naawa tayo. Ipinagdasal natin. Pero dumukot ba tayo sa ating bulsa? at may iniabot para tumulong. I am not saying na lahat ng pulubing nakikita ninyo sa daan ay tulungan nyo. No? Kung meron ang pantulong, no? pero iba natatakot tumulong kasi baka ang feeling nila sindikato o gagamitin sa ibang, ibang bagay, pambibili ng huhut-hutin. But in another way, when we see a person in need, what do we do? Do we only pray? Or do we only feel compassion? Or we do something to alleviate the poverty? Mga, kina- mga minamahal kong kapatid, tularan natin si Jesus sa kanyang ipinakita sa Ebanghelyo. Ipinagdasal niya, nahabag siya, at pinagaling niya. Amen. Please all stand. We read in the Gospel that Jesus responded to the needs of the deaf man. With confidence, we pray to God the Father to fulfill our needs. To every petition, our response would be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church and her members may be receptive to the healing message of the gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. prayer. That we may open our ears and our hearts to the pleas of the poor. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may always use the gift of speech to proclaim the glory of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who care for the deaf and the dumb may be encouraged by the sensitivity and kindness of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may rest in peace, and may those who mourn be comforted. 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In silence, let us pray for the intentions offered in this Mass, for the intentions of people who are asking us to pray for them, and for our own particular needs. Eternal Father, heal our selfishness and open our hearts to receive the good news of salvation. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through goodness you have this bread to offer, which earth is given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through goodness you have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and rock of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please all stand. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. O Lord, our God, who once established these created things to sustain us in our frailty, grant, we pray, that they may become for us now the sacrament of eternal life, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift, since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please all kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, 
which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please all stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. As one family with one common Father, we pray, Our Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our many sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please all kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Please all stand. Let us pray. O God, who have willed that we be partakers in the one bread and the one chalice, grant us, we pray, so to live, that made one in Christ, we may joyfully bear fruit for the salvation of the world. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Thank you.